Hey, thanks for checking out Rocky Mountain Backcountry. We're back at it in the backcountry. Man, look at that view, you guys. Let's walk down here a few steps and see what we can see. Oh, yeah, look at that. You can see a hundred miles that direction. If you care, that's north. But we've been up here camping with the family. And, uh, you know what? <laughs> Look, I got the booster seat sitting here in the front of the side-by-side. -side. Nothing better than taking the grandkids for a ride and putting them to sleep for their mom. <clears throat> Bringing those kids up right, in my opinion. Anyway, I'm going to show you a couple things we've done to the side-by-side. -side and, uh, I don't know, maybe you can see them right off the bat. But anyway, check it out. This is just a quick little update on the Rocky Mountain Backcountry X3 and uh maybe some mods maybe some things you've seen maybe some things you haven't seen but let's go over it check it out okay first of all you guys we've seen maybe you've seen the uh this is the hindenburg customs cage and we did a custom spare tire carrier let me open this thing up for you maybe see if i can do this here while I'm holding the camera, it's kind of difficult. Anyway, it's got the struts that lift it up so you can access whatever your storage is here. Uh, works out really nicely that way. Of course, all of the essentials, you guys. Tool kit, extra winch line. What is that? The silky big boy saw and some TP. We've got a soft shackle in here and a tarp. That's just kind of what we carry in the extra storage back there. And those struts are nice to hold that tire up. Up on top of there, I have my search and rescue backpack strapped down to my tire. And there's water in there. Anyway, I don't go out without that pack. I'm always in the hills, in the mountains. And 90% of the time I'm riding by myself. So I like to keep that with me. If you want to see what's in that pack, drop a comment down below and I'll do a review on what's in my search and rescue pack. So other than that, you guys, you can see over there on that side, we got the UTV Molly door panels with some Molly pouches. And if you look right down here, they make, they're just, that's just a handy little dump bag for whatever. And then in here, I've got some more uh, essentials here. This is kind of search and rescue stuff because we go on uh, accidents and recoveries. And I've always got a pair of gloves there in case we need those. I have a Kimimoto storage bag for up here. In the, on the roof of the X3, this bag has been an essential part of my kit. I keep, a, I keep my rain jacket in there. I've got, uh, you can see some hot hands. I keep my winch remotes in there. That works out pretty good. And then back here on the center on the center UTV Molly console, I've got a couple of Molly pouches there. This has just basic everyday use stuff in there. I can go over my bags with you later, but I also have my rugged radios. That's just kind of a place where they park. And then I have some just some uh EDC type stuff. I've got rope and knives and I got another pair of hot hands in there Just uh, some lighter lighter stuff for building a fire all of that stuff of course that ended up that there after uh, A last trip I'll show you guys a picture right here of that front tire. Well, it wasn't that tire But it was the front tire on the passenger side check that out. We put a stick right through it anyway so this sauce shackle's just kind of been hanging out since then. And uh, yeah, you guys, you've seen the Kimimoto tablet mount and the tablet. I'll link a video to that down below here or up here in the corner somewhere. So you can check out that tablet mount. And you see, of course, we got the new Kimimoto center seat bag there, the shoulder bag. And I'm liking that. Let's see, come around the front, you got the winch bumper on here. We got a couple of lights that we've tried out. Not sure what's gonna happen with those. Don't love them, but 
The other thing you can see, they're all muddied up. How about knob sight and some side view mirrors with some lighting in them? The problem is, is look at all that dirt on there. They get pretty dirty. Knob sight, 40 inch light bar. I'll tell you what, that thing is a game changer at night coming down these roads. And you can see here, I just uh, threw up a little wiper blade there. See that action? <clears throat> it's not fabulous, but it's better than nothing. And I don't know what else you guys, you can see the rear bumper and the rear winch. That's the open road 6,000 pound rear winch. And then I put some lights on the back there. So if you're winching from the back at night, you got plenty of light. Uh, what else you guys? Oh, look right up there. How about the open road traction boards? I've got them just mounted right to the roof. You can see super easy. I just drilled a hole. These brackets come with the traction boards and uh, they make it super easy to mount those up on there and they're out of the way. They've been kicking around down on the floorboard on that side for like six months and it's kind of been a pain in the butt. Anyway, there's a quick walk around of the Rocky Mountain Backcountry X3 Max uh, Turbo RR. Do we need to get it all in there? Thanks for checking out Rocky Mountain Backcountry, you guys. If you have any questions about the machine, drop a comment down below and I'll be happy to review anything else with you. Uh, other than that, we're going to go for a little ride and uh, hmm, enjoy the backcountry. So, like if you do, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll catch you on the next one.